Good morning. It's time for us to check out a Bailey's Camping Resort. I had a great time here. What about you? It is a beautiful place. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a camping version of that resort that Baby's family stayed in in Dirty Dancing. Just I like can't remember Dirty Dancing. All of these old-fashioned things to do, like horseshoes and They have go-karts, miniature golf, um... Some fishing pools. paws. You have multiple swimming pools, a massive field for uh, baseball diamonds, uh, basketball, basketball courts, volleyball. volleyball. Like, you, if you could imagine it, it has it here. And yeah. that uh, access to the uh, marshlands where we went awesome. kayaking yesterday it was great. And, and they have this big pavilion where they have live entertainment most nights of the week, evidently. And I can only equate it to if you've been on a cruise ship where, like, the cruise ship kind of has everything you can think of. This is like an RV park cruise ship. It yeah. is huge. 750 sites. But it doesn't feel um, compact or like you're on top of each other. Well, yeah, that's because like, they have all, all this open out. land. They're, like 12 acres yeah. in the middle of it is just open land. Mm -hmm. So... Or I could also equate it to something you only see in the movies because I've <laughs> never been to an RV park this big. And mm -hmm. I don't know, I could totally see the appeal to it if you have kids and you just want to say, like, all right, get out of here, play. go do whatever you do, see you uh, later, text me, let me know where you're at. And not really have to worry and the adults can kind of do their thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're going to head up to uh, Portland now and there's a Cabela's right outside of Portland and they are very RV friendly and there's going to be other RVs around and I think there's safety in numbers. I agree. At least it's familiarity. We know what to expect at a Cabela's. Yeah. Uh, we spent the morning also uh, cleaning up the motorhome. So we try to do this once a week. A big just, what? oh knock it off Bubba. <laughs> um, a big cleaning. I'll spin the camera around. Everything from floor to ceiling practically. Scrubbed down. Yes. It needs it too because this RV does have little spots where the dirt seeps in, as I'm sure most RVs yeah, with do. dust leaks. So um, we really and need every week to wipe it down. Two of us and two dogs. And yeah, we take our shoes off every time we get in, but. The dogs still. Don't. <laughs> oh, we make them step on one of those dirt attracting Catching rugs yeah, all right oh yeah the dogs also got a bath mm -hmm. so there's remington all nice and wet and sitting on my driver's seat nice shelby's down there she's been sitting in the sun so she's almost dry yeah she has a real fine coat so mm -hmm. she dries quick still not pleased about the bath though no she hates water <laughs> so we're going to uh hit the road and uh We'll go say goodbye to Tom and Galen first. Yeah, for sure. And we'll catch up with you later. Well, before we leave here, I wanted to show you the entryway, or entrance, to Bailey's. Uh, you can see they have the golf carts back there, a store. This is where you check in. Uh, they've got a restaurant over there and a big pavilion. This is one of the swimming pools and jacuzzis right there. And then another playground. Uh, you can see their little trolley in the background there. And um, just beautiful grounds here. So I wanted to show you this before we left. We have had a great time here. Kind of bummed our time's already over. But it's a lovely place. We totally recommend it. Um, surprisingly pleasant and wonderful. Yeah. So, well, here's our Uber. Gonna take us into the city. What's your name? Sean. Sean. Ben. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. Well, there's the Portland Cabela's. Always RV friendly for us. Well, this is a really growing trend across the world. Everybody gets to put their bike locks on, or padlocks. They just started in Paris. Really? We like to take advantage of technology, and we are using our Yelp app 
and found Jay's oyster. So we're gonna walk over there. Well, that was good. We had a chowder and a haddock sandwich. A little crowded in there. It was. Yeah. It made you feel a little claustrophobic. Yeah, I was like, okay, there's so many. There are so many people in here that can't really just get comfortable, or I don't know. It's created a different type of atmosphere, but the food was good. So let's go walking around this place. It's a beautiful sunny day to go check everything out. So we've been down here for a couple of hours, had something to eat, walked around, looked in a few shops. I remember there being other things to do here, but maybe it was because I wasn't on foot. The lighthouse is like four miles away, mm -hmm. almost five actually. And uh, and once you leave kind of the old port area, then it seems like a long ways to anything else in Portland too. So I don't know. We're kind of it's freezing cold too. It's really chilly. Um, not so much cold, but the air or the wind is blowing, which makes it feel cold. So we're gonna get an Uber back to the RV, and we are going to go ahead and head up to our friends. We're gonna be staying in. Brunswick for a couple of nights with some friends that used to live in Seward. So we're just going to go ahead and shoot up there now. This is going to be some, this is our first time doing this. Yeah. So we're going to need to figure out how to do this because another thing that I'm a little, yeah, it's a little hard to swallow is that it's costing us about $42 round trip just to come down here. And I know renting a car would have probably been equal or yeah, more expensive and... Then there would have been parking on top of it, which yeah. was like $19 when we walked by. But, yeah, we paid $42, $30 for lunch, that's $72, and all we got was a bowl of chowder and a sandwich out of it. <laughs> like, that right there is what I have a hard time swallowing, and I'm not a city person either. Not that Portland's a big city, and nothing against Portland. It looks pretty cool, but, man, unless you want to fork out ducats and... <clears throat> you know, get an Uber all over the place, or maybe even rent a car. I don't know. We're gonna have to work I... this out on this road trip because we do not have a uh, tow vehicle since we're towing our uh, kayaks and ATV. So this is gonna be something we need and to most figure out. Things I would probably be willing to walk to, but five miles in this cold weather out to the lighthouse seems unpleasant today. <laughs> and. The lighthouse is generally on the water, yeah. for obvious reasons. So <laughs> it'll be cold. It's and windy always going to be there. a little cooler by the water, and it'll be windy down there for sure. So. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't know. We're going to have to uh, figure this out. And if you guys have any suggestions on, uh, you know, ideas of getting in and out of towns, and like we went on a trip advisor, and the old port district kind of seemed to be the place to go. Yeah. Yeah, if you had like one like it's stop be a cool to go. Place to spend the afternoon, but now that we're here, there was it's just two streets. It's a like bunch of restaurants and uh, overpriced restaurants. Well, yeah, overpriced restaurants. But that's typical of any downtown touristy, touristy area. area. And I think the other problem, like if we go to Boston or New York, they all have public transportation. You just hop on a train. Yeah. But here, there, that's not an option. Well, we already have New York figured out, and you guys are just going to have to wait for that. Uh, that it's will be, be pretty an cool. Awesome weekend. Uh, yeah, just as I introduced uh, Beck to uh, White Castle, I get she's to going to introduce me to, New York. to the New York City. massive New York City that I've never been to before. We can go to Broadway and we can eat at cool restaurants. And yeah. We're going to ride the train down from my brother's. We're going to do lots of fun things and we're meeting our good friends there and um, several uh, several different good friends. Like I have yeah. a friend from high school and a friend from college that live there. We're meeting friends that we met while we were vacationing. It's still a week um, off, so we'll yeah. see how it goes. Schedules change. They do. But so. I'm well, that's that. about all. We are waiting for our Uber now and we're going to head back to the motorhome and I don't know maybe walk into Cabela's and the uh, Cabela's in Anchorage their aquarium is a joke yeah like they really could have done so much more with the aquarium and I've been to some where the aquariums are just epic so let's see what the aquarium here looks like 
at their Cabela's. It'll be fun to go in and compare. Yeah, I don't care about the shopping. I just want to go see the yeah. aquarium. Yeah, we'll just walk around for a yep. few minutes, take some pictures. This guy, like, he was 12 minutes away when I booked the Uber, and then when I looked, like, four minutes later, he was 11 minutes away. Now, like, six minutes later, he's six minutes away. So I don't know if he's hit traffic or what it is, but Who it's taken a bit to get here, which I don't normally care, but it's definitely chilly, and I didn't dress appropriately for it. Yeah, it's all good. So let's uh, catch this Uber. Oh, really? We just got a free Uber ride. He took like an epic wrong turn. Yeah, so we here were on like the 18 minutes out of the way. Yeah. So there's toll roads here. So there's not like an exit all the time. They you have to like you know get off at a toll booth and then probably drive three or four miles to your destination instead of an exit. So he missed the exit. <laughs> so he's going to uh, make that Uber ride free of charge. But a super nice guy, retired uh, firefighter. firefighter and paramedic. Yeah. So we're going to head into the Cabela's now to check out their aquarium. I've been to a few of these and the aquariums are great, but the one in Anchorage is the only one that Beck has seen. Yep. So let's see if their aquarium is better. But, but the aquarium at the Anchorage Cabela's is a joke. So you'll go ice fishing with me if we get an ice hut? I don't know. This aquarium is very similar to the one in Anchorage. Not very fancy. You got some trout in there, you got some bass up there. There's even a salmon look. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe you know, we need to, not on this trip, because it's going to be in the wrong part of the country, we need to go to Springfield, Missouri. That's the Bass Pro Shops. I the, was thinking uh, it was St. Louis. But... Big one. We just got reamed at a toll plaza. So we left Cabela's, hopped onto the turnpike or freeway, and had to get off on another freeway. But that first one, we got off $3.50. 1.8 miles up, we had to pay another $3.50. Now that is a racket and highway robbery. So we are looking into the Easy Pass now. We probably should have gotten the Easy Pass ahead of time. Uh, hindsight, so I'm going to recommend anybody driving around the country, especially on the East Coast, get an Easy Pass. We're going to look into it now. And apparently it goes all the way from Maine to Virginia and also Illinois. Easy Pass is good. I'm on their website right now. The Easy Pass is good in Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New, Jer New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Virginia, and West Virginia in Maine. So um, if you're traveling in those states, it is definitely worth it because you get a discount initially and then if you use the turnpike, if you get on and off the turnpike, 30 times in a month, they give you another 25 to 50 percent off um, what you owe. So very worth it. And you can buy the turn the Easy Pass in any of the states that use it, and then use it in all of those other states. So more information on that to come.